Welcome to Drum Chart Builder. My name is Liz Ficalora, and I'm the designer of Drum Chart Builder and the author of How to Write a Fast and Easy Drum Chart. This program, this software program, creates a one-page drum sheet music or a chart of a song, so you'll be able to build a drum chart on your computer and take it with you on any mobile device to your sessions, practice, or shows. This video is a quick demonstration of how to create and play a drum chart using Drum Chart Builder. So, let's first sign in. We're at the Chart Manager now, and all your charts will be in the top part, and all your set lists, after you build your charts, you put them into set lists. So we're going to take a chart, and we're going to complete this one. I'm going into the editor, and this song, we're going to need to first load in our MP3. So I'll go here. I'll choose out of my library, and it loads it up. Once it's loaded, select all and, apply in, and select apply to chart. So as you can see, the name of the song and the artist name immediately goes to the top of the chart. Next thing you must do is to count out your song form. And so you need to know what your time signature, your tempo, and your feel is. So all of these have quick drop-down menus, making it really easy as you play your song to choose what you need. So let's play the song. I'm going to make this player a little smaller so it's easier to work with. And we're going to choose those three things. Okay, our time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Our metronome and our tempo will be tap. I press the tap button. Press start and see if it matches. Needs to be a little faster. Unsure my ship would sail. The wind and rain came pouring. Okay, move it there. Our feel is a straight pop. So there we go. We know exactly what we need, that our time signature is 4-4, four, four, our tempo is 121, and our feel is a straight pop. Now let's listen again, and we need to know exactly how the song starts. So I'll take a listen. It starts with a guitar. So I put in a, a start field. So you can choose what instrument starts, so you'll know exactly who to turn to when you're ready to start the song. And it's a guitar start, and there's a pickup. So let's look at the three-tier blocks here and what they, are, what they are. At the top one is for your song form, and there's a quick drop-down menu to choose your song form. The next block is for counting out each measure as the song is playing. You're counting each measure, and these are the numbers that you'll put in that spot so you'll know how many bars to count for each song form. Drum instruction is a section with a long drop-down menu, so you can put in whatever you need to know to play the song the best, as in drum fills, stops, if it's a hi-hat and snare, or it's drums only, guitar only, all these things that you need to know in order to play the song properly. So the song starts with a guitar pickup. It's also in the first measure. And in this one, in this section here, we can also add what is called insert figure. And we can put in notation, which is what we're going to need to know how this guitar is, when the guitar starts that pickup. So it's a really quick start. So I'm going to take out the word start, and I'm going to put in the notation needed exactly what the guitarist is doing. There. And that's what the guitarist is doing to get the pickup into the very first measure. So let's start counting out the song form. And it'll start with an intro. Three, four, three, two, three, four. And I'm counting as I go. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. Verse. One, two, three, four, two, two. Three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. Verse one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. There's a stop there. Here's our chorus. 
two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. Chorus. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six. And I just stop there. So as I'm going along, I'm also notating to my saying to myself, if it, there's stops and little notations I have to put in, as you can see down here, I've done that already. So let's go back and let's put in our drum instruction. As we know, in the first part in the intro, there isn't much. Six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four. So we can leave that blank or we can write in what what is actually being played. And there's a hi hat, toms, and bass drum. That's just helpful. You don't have to do that, but I write that in so I know exactly what I'm supposed to be playing. Let's continue. Tied up on the or in our verse. I'm sure my ship would save four. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, eight. Okay, there's nothing there. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. Okay, there is a notation on the eighth measure. So what I'm going to choose here is seven, one and take out the one and I'm going to insert notation there of what the drums are playing and it's this seven and then you can also make these a little bit smaller so they fit a little bit better so let's go back and listen to that a little bit so you can see what I've just done rest rest okay now we're in the chorus Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight. Next, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six. Okay, there's a stop there right before it goes right back into the intro. And that, since there's six measures, I'm going to put six, no, make it a five, because on the sixth measure, there's a stop. So I'm going to do an insert figure, and the stop is a quarter note, two quarter note rests, and another quarter note. So it looks just like this. I'll also make them smaller, so it fits a little bit better. You don't have to do that, but you can see it really clearly on your iPads even in that size. So let's go back and listen to that and you'll hear how that works. Alright, now we're in here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Press, press. Yeah. So that will really help you when you're playing the chart that you can play that figure right there. Now the next thing to do is you're going to add in the drum patterns that are actually being used. So if you go to the bottom of the chart here, I put in a new pattern. Or you, can, or you can add a new pattern at the top. Under New Patterns, then, I have a library of already preset patterns. So this makes it really easy to add these patterns to your chart. All you have to do is choose them. So let's go and let's listen to what the pattern is in the intro. It sounds like 16th notes on a hi-hat. So the first thing to do is to go into your library and go into the 16th note patterns and look for that bass drum pattern which is this one and two and choose that and it falls right in place let's 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 listen i think we need to change it a little bit and we're going to go edit it so it, it actually really turns out to be a two bar pattern so we're going to take this pattern we're going to go into our editor 
and make it into a two bar pattern. So I ask, I change it to two bars right there. And you can also add up here, you can add the time signature if you like, or you can also add the line labels as we call them, where it says hi hat, the second line is your snare drum and your bass drum. All of these can be changed. So let's say the, if the snare drum is a rim, you could write the word rim. You can change this out to tom toms if you want to put a drum fill. So you'll know exactly what you're trying to do. What this needs is 16th notes in the hi-hat because that's what's being played. The bass drum pattern is one and the and of two on each measure. So there we have that. And the snare drum is on beat four of the sec second measure. So with that, I'm going to press insert, choose insert chart. And now we have that pattern in there. And then you label it with all the patterns, all the song forms that is, it is used in. And it's used in the intro, the verse one, and the ending. So let's continue because it changes when we get to this chorus here. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. So now the pattern is a one bar pattern. So I'm going to need to add that because it's changed. And I just added a new pattern. There we go. Now I'm going to go into the library this time because it's now an eighth note pattern, but it still has the same bass drum pattern, which is this one here. So I'll choose this and then I'll label that with all the patterns that it's used in. So there we go. There's a chart and you can cut bars and add bars as you can see right there. And now we've finished our chart and you can see that a whole, the whole song form is here. So the way that you play it is that you count in, let's say in the intro, you're going to count eight measures and you're going to play this pattern down here in the chorus. You're going to count eight measures and you're going to play this pattern eight times. That's how you read these charts really quick and easy. They fit really well on your iPad, always ready to go. And then you add this. Once you save this back into your chart manager, then you can add it to your set list. And you can check out the other videos and you can learn how to use the set list maker. Thanks for watching.